Hi, we are Tori and Jesse, and in 2022, we purchased this four room schoolhouse for $157,000. It is 8,500 square feet and we are turning it into our family home and event center for the community. Let's go check it out. So we are here in classroom number one. This is our entryway. We're going to put some built-ins here for coats and shoes is a guest bathroom, cat bathroom. We incorporated a window there that's original to the building. And we're also going to put tin ceilings up there. And we're gonna have some shelving here. This is our kitchen into our pantry. And this is an original door that we found in the school and we've incorporated it in the design and we even custom ordered doors to match these for the rest of the building. Coming this way through our kitchen is our range and range hood. And right here over this island, we are having three schoolhouse pendant lights installed that are original to the school. Over this way is a closet and some built-in shelving here and washer and dryer laundry area back here. This is now where we transition from classroom number one to the hallway and we have a bathroom behind me for our kids and we have one bedroom this way, one bedroom this way. And this is where the original school bathrooms were. Yeah, this is not an original window, but was placed there by previous owners. And we decided to keep it as part of the history of this building. bathroom is going to have a really nice tiled shower here for our boys to use. And another bedroom over here. When we move in, it'll be a three bedroom house, but in the future we plan on expanding and making it bigger, but this is just a good fit for our family right now. Closet right there. That at the back of the closet is the original chimney and that stain exposed. Even if it's in a closet, we want to show the original chimney to the building. So back in classroom number one, we have our dining room. And we have the back side of that chimney, which goes all the way to the roof. And we are building it back up to the ceiling with the original bricks that we found in the yard. And that's going to be a feature of the original schoolhouse. Over here in classroom number two, we have our living room. Here we have a wood burning fireplace, built-ins, built-ins. On this side, we have a secret room that we're gonna hide with more built-ins. And we found original chalkboard to the school. And so we're planning on adding some sort of decorative way to display it on this large back wall. We really wanna highlight the things we found that were preserved over the last 114 years. Yep. And we have another secret area underneath the stairs that we're planning. 
and another transom window that we found in the school and are incorporating in our design. The other half of classroom number two is our primary bedroom, so come check this one out. So this is our bedroom space with a walk-in closet. Back here we have our master bathroom. In the bathroom we have a walk-in shower that's going to go wall to wall, floor to ceiling, a freestanding tub, and on this side we have a double sink vanity and a water closet toilet room right here tucked away. Go upstairs. Show us upstairs. Here at the top of the stairs, we have a office right here. This side is unfinished, but you can get a lay of the land a bit. We have a bathroom plumbed right there, rough in for the future. And then it's basically the same floor plan as the other two levels, but with a roof pitch. These are the bad boys that keep the school standing. They are handmade, one handmade truss, and it's a monster. Are you gonna keep it? Yes. Someday we are going to finish this area and we're gonna build walls behind this truss to highlight that it's there and kind of show the really cool design of it. And it's a hundred year old wood that is still solid as a rock. This is where I like to spy on my neighbors. up here. Really cool feature of the school. This is the bell tower and someday we want to finish the inside of it but unfortunately the top part which actually housed the bell was taken down and we're not going we don't have any plans currently to rebuild that but it will be it is a cool feature of the school. Okay, so now we are in the entryway. This is gonna be the entrance to the event center. And we just walked through the doorway that separates the event center, which is for the community, to our private home. So this, these platforms are we installed them to install the drywall and light fixtures because it's so high here. And once we get the drywall finished, we're going to remove these and it's going to just be at one big open room. Right here on this floor is where we're going to put the beautiful tile that Tori's been working on. So this is going to be penny tile with a border and um, incorporated lettering that says school district number five, which is right on the front of the building outside on a cement plaque that's 
been here since the school was built. Down here at the bottom of the stairs in the basement, we have our newspaper wall, which is floor to ceiling covered in old newspaper. Some of the more notable ones. Our, some of the more noticeable ones are this newspaper from the Detroit Free Press from Friday, January 24, 1896. We have, we have newspapers showing um, the cost of tires for your car. There's a lot of history right here on this wall. Over here is the actual event center. This would be classroom number three, so come check it out. We wanted to keep it as open as possible. We have a lot of windows in here, really tall ceilings, a lot of light, a lot of natural light, and this is just gonna be an event center for large gatherings for the community. We have a hardwood floor, which is in really great condition. This is going to be a bathroom for the event center. This hallway down here, that was the door that was used for an apartment way back in the day. We are going to turn it into a way to bring material in here because this is my shop. So through this doorway is my shop. Now we're in classroom number four. Here we have all the mechanicals for the building. We have our data center. We have our water system. We have our furnace. And all my stuff. That door back there, I don't know if you can see it, that's an old door that goes to our current garage. And it's gonna be, the garage is gonna be removed at some point because it's really not safe and not structural. It's not structurally safe at the moment. So we're using it to store our lawnmower and that's about it. And someday that door is gonna lead just to a back patio. And I'm gonna also use it to bring in material from my company. Thanks for joining us with the walkthrough. If you liked what you saw and you want to keep following our renovation journey, subscribe to our channel and check out our social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Bye! Bye.